Hey guys, welcome back to a very random video. I'm like kind of in the process of doing this and decided, you know, why not film it? So I am organizing my bookshelves because, you know, that seems like a fun thing to do <laughs> on a random Thursday when the baby's at daycare in the middle of the summer. I've been trying to like get something done every day, like organizational wise. I'm kind of doing the Marie Kondo method, but I'm not going in the order that Marie Kondo says. She says you got to start with clothes first. And I just don't want to start with clothes first because clothes for me are like the hardest part to do. And she says it should be the easiest part. But honestly, it's the hardest part. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna do organizing my bookshelves and I'm gonna show you where we're at in the process. And then at the end of this, we'll do like a little bookshelf tour. Okay, so here's what, we're, what we've got to work with. Um, th these are the downstairs shelves. Um, they're a mess. Also, well, they're not a mess. It's everything on them's a mess. All of our fall decorations, which ironically enough, I dreamed about it being fall time last night and that we were getting all these out. Clearly we're not. <laughs> uh, this is Ash's old stuff that we've got to do something with. I've just got boxes of some like old books that my parents sent me that were in their basement, like English literature, French textbooks. I don't know what to do with them. I've got a lot of paperwork sitting around, treadmill. <laughs> um, I've got random paperwork here, just, uh, you know, file cabinets full of stuff. Oh look, outfit of the day, you know, OOTD as they say, gigantic shirt and some shorts, very, very cute, I know. <laughs> Okay, anyway, that was so random. Oh, and drink of the video. Oh, and look at this desk. Are you horrified at this or what? Like, this is all got to get organized. Look, there's stuff. There's Bookopoly that I did. Oh my gosh, that was forever ago. So, filming stuff, all this has to get just organized in general. But drink of the day is the old favorite, the cotton candy seltzer water. Anyway, so these are bookshelves that I want to have books that I've already read. Um, mostly that's what it is anyway, like all my favorite books, my Anne Rice, my Game of Thrones, my Jim Butcher, but some of these are books I've never read and I keep kind of forgetting that they exist and then, you know, random French textbooks that I'm like, why am I even keeping those? This is the classic shelf and cliff notes and then some other random books that aren't classics, so that'll have to be, you know, changed a little bit and then these are all of Zach's books except, uh, well, and like, you know, like mangas and um what's it called well like light novels and like just comics and stuff like that and then these are mine that I have to do something with as well so this is the plan for today the plan is to move all of the books upstairs that are on my tbr so if I've not read it it goes to the bookshelf upstairs which we'll go look at in just a second if it's a book that I have already red and it's upstairs we're gonna move it downstairs and that is currently this box i went ahead and brought some down from upstairs that i've read and i'm keeping because i like them or else i'm saving them for ash potentially the, the you know the, i was gonna say the baby the child um so these will go on the shelf down here here's the spare bedroom this is where we're at with the upstairs bookshelf so i cleared it all off already i should have documented this process but you know i just didn't so <laughs> i cleared it all off i cleaned it with a swiffer now here's what we've got going on we've got some some stacks some, some boxes, some random things. So there's also some stuff on my bed. So what I did is these are all books on my TBR. So to read, That's the, these are staying up here because they are books I actively am keeping and want to read. These are books that are also on my TBR that are new that I've not done like in a book haul video. So I have to remember to do these in a book haul. So I'm gonna keep these just kind of separate, maybe kind of put a little divider or something there. I've also got, Random stuff that I just don't know, like, what to do with. So, like, look, stuff about my prescription. That's, that's good. Um, <laughs> that's my migraine medicine. Anyway, just very, very random stuff. Book, a bit, of, like, this bin is full of bookmarks. But also hair pieces from my wedding from years ago. So, like, almost five years at this point. <laughs> Why that's in there, I don't know. So, we've got to do some organization stuff. Over here, this stack, I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put them. But these are books I'm keeping for Ash. Oh no, these go downstairs. Uh oh, nope, see we're already off to a bad start. These go downstairs, I've read these and are keeping them. These are books that I'm keeping for Ash. They're books I would probably get rid of, like Keeper of the Lost Cities, Aragon. I'm not ever gonna read these books again. I have at least read them all, I think. Have I read all these? Mostly, mostly all of them, except for like these, obviously. <laughs> these are like clearly for Ash. Um, I'm saving these for him, but they're gonna have to go in his room because they're literally like old favorites. Like look at this, old library book for my mom's old. Uh, she was an elementary teacher, so this was like from her old library. Uh, just random stuff like keeping for Ash. I don't know why I have one Goosebumps book here. All the rest of them are at my parents' house. But yeah, so all of these are going to go somewhere in Ash's room. My husband, I guess, has this book for some reason. So I'm going to send it with him to his school because he teaches U.S. history. 
And then these two books are going to go back to my school. That one's a book that I just had and I need to take back. And that's a book I'm going to donate to the school because I bought it and I don't like it. These are the last of the books that we have to figure out what to do with. We're going to have a stack because I'm sure I'm going to get more from downstairs. But these are books I'm going to get rid of. And I just don't know whether I should try to sell them like on my like Facebook group I'm in for my city or should I try to take them to half price books? They're not going to give me much money. They might give me some for like maybe these two because they're pretty popular. I mean, this one's a nice hardback, but I hated that book. DNF that book. Hated this book, DNF'd it. Well, I didn't hate it. I just, I just couldn't get into it. I DNF'd it like two thirds of the way through. Read this for a video where my husband bought me books for Christmas and he picked out a light novel and I really didn't like it. <laughs> really old cookbook. I probably got other cookbooks I need to get rid of. And then this random book that like I was going to literally throw away, except it's like $40 on Amazon. So I was like, huh, maybe I could do something with that. <laughs> so figuring out what to do with those or do I just give them to Goodwill? You know, I, surely I can sell like some of them, but we'll see. Okay, so that's where we're at. Let's go do some more organizing and we'll see where we're at. Uh, right now it's like 10.30. Hopefully this won't take more than like an hour or two. update. So I first of all have been reading an audiobook or listening to an audiobook while I've been doing all this work and it is Art of the Prophecy by Wesley Chu. It's the first of what's going to be a series. I don't know if it's gonna be a trilogy or what but it's like high fantasy and it's like what happens when a prophecy kind of goes wrong and it's like just because there's a prophecy and a prophesied hero doesn't mean that that hero doesn't have to like train or do stuff and like what happens if the prophecy's wrong or you know it's just really cool and there's like a lot of really interesting characters so I am loving it and I'm almost done but right now let's take a look at the shelves and see where we're at because all the moving has been done at this point everything is where it needs to be now it's just figuring out how to organize it on the shelves oh I know it doesn't look like anything has changed here <laughs> um but all the books are now upstairs that go upstairs I'm hoping they all fit on these shelves nicely I don't think there's gonna be too many books but these are all my physical TBR books and of course the random other junk and these right here so all we have to do is try to fit those books onto this shelf. Now as far as I've only got three books to take to school. <laughs> um, as far as Harry Potter goes I think I'm going to take everything Harry Potter related and put it on a shelf in Ash's room on the top of his bookshelf since he has like a Harry Potter themed bedroom. Now let's we're, we're downstairs. Um, let's just talk through what I did and then I'll show you a more in-depth tour later but I did put some of like the books I'm saving for Ash up here because I realized they're too big. I mean, he's not going to read these anytime soon and they're not going to fit in his room anywhere. <laughs> so, um, and then I organized some of this. There is still some space, like a little bit. So, I mean, that's good for, you know, future book purchases or, you know, once I've moved them basically from upstairs to downstairs, as soon as I read those, they'll come down here. So at least there's that. Um, this is still kind of messed up. I did clean off all the boxes on the bed though. All that's left now is like Ash's clothes and, but all the boxes of books have been put away. So now we're going to pause for lunch. We'll come back and do a tour. Honestly, these aren't really organized in any way, shape, or form except like classics and books I've read and Zach's books. <laughs> Other than that, they're not organized. But I'm thinking upstairs I might try to organize them by genre, maybe, or by how interested I am in reading them. I don't know. We'll see. but it turns out Marie Kondo was right. You kind of have to do all the things in your house at once. Like all books have to do, have to do them at once. <laughs> so I'm going to go into Ash's shelf. I'm going to try to clear this off and get room for all the Harry Potter stuff and do like a little Harry Potter display up here to go with his mural that's on his wall. This, this is his little crib and that is his Harry Potter mural, obviously. So, you know, we've got to have a Harry Potter shelf. So we're gonna try to get all this just kind of cleared off. As the time has come, let's do our bookshelf tour. It's over and it's like not even two o'clock. So, I mean, yeah, I did work on it for longer than I thought I was going to, but I'm glad that it's done and all the books in the house are done. Here we are. So this is the TBR shelf and my husband came up and was kind of horrified. He goes, wait, you mean all of these books are books you haven't read? And I was like, yeah, I feel like a lot of people have even more. <laughs> and he was pretty horrified. But um, honestly, these, well, one, 
two. These two books I have read before. It's just I want to remember to do them in a book haul. So from here over, book haul videos. Um, the rest are not really organized. It's just like these were tall, so the shelf was taller, so that's why they're here. And random nonfiction stuck in the middle, but the rest of nonfiction is somewhere else. <laughs> um, then these four I borrowed from our school library, so obviously I have to take those back. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. There's some more books in my closet, I think, that I borrowed from school. Shoot. Hmm. Well, you know, we'll worry about that another time. Oh, man, I thought I was totally done. Well, okay, that sucks. <laughs> um, and then here's like some shorter books. I mean, like physically a little shorter, <laughs> not like this way shorter. Um, I guess I should say vertically shorter. Um, then starting right here, these are young adult. These are like middle grade or like kids books and then a few non-fictions that I still need to read. So down here are just some tall books that just really wouldn't fit anywhere else. There just wasn't enough room anywhere for them. So they're just kind of down here. Um, a pi oh, this picture will not stand up. It's my parents. There they are in all their glory. <laughs> and some of my friends. Okay, yeah, that's just, okay, we're gonna have to get a new picture for him. But, and then my husband's books here that he has Imagineering. Um, it's like, they're mostly art. Like it's like artwork from like Imagineers. And it's like a two volume, really nice set that my parents got my husband. So, um, and these drawers are empty. So I'm thinking about putting like bookmarks and stuff like that book related. I've got bookmarks. I've got these. Um, where are they? They're like book cover. I've got like three of these that I might put in there, like book slip cover thingies, book covers. Um, so actually I should just go ahead and get those out right now. Yeah. So we'll see if these will fit in the drawer. Maybe, maybe they can be like book supplies go in there. Like bookmarks will go in drawers and stuff like that. So yeah, that's that. And that means that this is cleared off now. The bed's cleared off. Yay. Okay. I don't think you're ready for Ash's bookshelf. You saw what it looked like before. And this only took me like 20 minutes and it's done. Look at that, look at that beaut. Yes, oh my gosh, it's actually, it came together. We've got all the Harry Potter stuff up here. Of course, we had to put the books on top because they're like the central focus. The Google Home thing is hidden back here. So, you know, perfect spot for that. <laughs> I finally get to kind of display these blocks that I've been wanting to put more on the forefront, you know. Um, here's our Harry Potter stuff, just extra Harry Potter books. Um, notebooks, random, really random things <laughs> that go with it. Harry Potter philosophy. Um, then we have our thing that actually, you know, this does turn on. Hmm. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. Ow. I had to hit something. Um, okay. How amazing is that? It is a snow globe. I just don't want to pick it up, but it does have like glitter and stuff in it too. So Ash loves that. Oh, okay. Then the Tales of the Bar, which is beautiful. My friend um, Easter got me that one. And down here, shelves. Yes, there's a few books over here, but it's all the Sandra Boynton books and he's been playing with those. So we're not gonna do anything with those. Yes, some of the rest of the stuff in here needs organized, but at least the shelf is done. Which brings us to the final set of shelves. And these are the ones that I thought were gonna take the longest, but actually took the least amount of time. Did I go through and get rid of any books from these shelves? No. Did I just organize them? Yes, but that's fine. Oh, let's take a quick look. We've got the old standby favorites, basically all my favorite series, except Harry Potter, which is upstairs. We moved just any book that I have read and I'm keeping at least for now. Like I don't even like this book, but it's got sprayed edges and it's signed by the author. So we're keeping it. <laughs> um, I do not like these two books, but it's in a box set. So I love the first one. So we're keeping it. Um, new favorite book of all time, Library at Mount Char. Love Vicious and Vengeful, love Nevermore. So yeah, there's definitely some we're keeping. I'm gonna hopefully be adding the fourth book in this series as soon as I read it, which is upstairs right now on the TBR shelf, which I have room to move more things down here when needed. So we've got like Percy Jackson. I still need to read the third book in this series. I'm not continuing this series, but I liked this book. So I think I'm just gonna keep it. Got like the Dan Brown books I actually liked and kept. The rest I got rid of a while back. And then we move into some weird stuff like Nightwish, Physics, Breaking Bad, card stuff, my piano um, manual, and then all the French books down here uh, on the bottom and random like crosswords and stuff. Now this is going to stay the same. So I'm not going to go through. I've got a bookshelf tour that I did once before. I can even link it down below for you if you'd be interested in seeing. But there's a little bit more space there too for if I find any old books at my parents' house because I also need to clean out stuff that they still have in their basement and they want me to clean it out. <laughs> then of course, this is the newly added shelf. These are books for Ash for when the time comes when he's old enough for those. 
but I just didn't want to put them on his shelf yet because that wouldn't make any sense and I didn't have anyone else to put them. And then my husband's books from classes that he took and then all of his like well like history books here and then like fun books down here so uh, yes they're still a mess in the floor but overall I am super happy with how it turned out and Marie Kondo sorry I did your method wrong but I really enjoyed doing the books before I organize my clothes. Guys thanks so much for watching don't know why you want to watch this but maybe you do I don't know it's kind of motivating when I watch other people organize their books I want to organize my books so maybe it motivates you to go do some organizing. I've been in an organizing frenzy lately and it's actually been really fun so anyway um, I'm gonna go and sit now and I will talk to you guys again later. Bye!